One of the first lessons the shaman taught me when I was living in South America many years ago was to respect and love Mother Earth and she'll always protect you. Now I didn't quite get that at the time, but I've grown to see it every day in big and small ways. Now one of the looming problems that we and especially our children are going to have to deal with is the ever going trash and toxic landfill situation that we've created. As well as the fact that our soils have been depleted of their nutrients since the early 1900s and composting can help to solve both of these problems right in your own home by turning your trash into some of the most nutrient dense soil available with very little change in your routine. Now there are many ways to find value from your garbage instead of adding it to our negative environmental footprint and unfortunately landfills rot and cause superbugs amongst many other problems because it takes thousands of years to break down this waste since it's covered in plastic, heavy metals, and other inorganic material, so it contaminates the land, seabeds, the water supply, and air, including as much as 20% of all methane emissions from the US. So doing this is very rewarding, whether you have a garden, a front lawn, a potted plant, or not. All you're going to do is save your food scraps, add some leaves to it, and then within a couple of weeks, like a kind of alchemy, you look back into your composter and you have the most dark, rich, nutrient-dense soil that plants will thrive in. Now I understand with all the information out there about composting, it's easy to get overwhelmed, especially with the different types of composting. But I'm gonna show you the simplest and most effective way that this can be done with your food scraps in both urban and rural settings. And in the blog associated with this video, I'll have other options for leaves and yard waste as well. But understand for now, if you just take your food scraps and throw them into the soil, eventually they're going to turn into earth. Now what we're doing by composting is creating the perfect environment so that instead of the process taking over a year, we can do it in one to two months naturally. Now the process is very simple. You save your food scraps in the kitchen in a small container, and when it's full, simply empty it into a compost bin or pile in your backyard. Now the bin I like the best for many reasons is the Jura Tumbling Composter. One reason it works so well is because you give the cylinder a few turns every couple of days or when you add food scraps and it aerates the compost adding important oxygen. Then within a few weeks you will have clean super nutrient dense compost mulch. It's really incredible how simple and valuable this is. Now when you start to do this you begin to realize that all of your garbage can either go in the recycling bin or the compost because there's not much else left. Now unlike any other bin, the Jura composter can take almost all food scraps from your kitchen. Your Jura will compost waste from fruits and vegetables, your garden scraps, cut grass and dry leaves. If you visit juracomposters.com, there is some excellent information, frequently asked questions and troubleshooting tips. Now in all the years that I've been composting, I like this unit the best of all that I've found for many reasons. It's durable, it spins, taking all the work out of composting, and it will practically last forever. It was actually designed in Sweden to allow composting to take place in cold climates year-round. Now I've had other composters throughout the years that always seem to break or split and have to be thrown out, so don't waste your money on a cheap one. And another thing that I like about the Jura composter is that it has two compartments. So you can have one that is currently being filled and the other one that is completing its decomposition. Now you can get a discount on this unit by using the code UNITY10 at compostingwarehouse.com and I'll have a link for them in the information box below of this video or in the blog which you can get to in the top left hand corner of the video. And I love supporting companies like this that come up with great solutions to environmental problems that we're dealing with. Now, the exact process that I do to make the compost is very simple. I have a bucket in my kitchen with a lid on it to collect the scraps. When that's full, I take it out and dump it into the side of the Jura composter that I'm currently using and add about the same amount of dry leaves from the yard. Now it's important to balance the green waste or what is known as nitrogen, which is your kitchen scraps, with the carbon source or brown matter. And an example of this is dry leaves. Now if you live in a place that doesn't have leaves or deadfall, it's very simple. We recommend getting a bag of horse bedding pellets for your carbon source. But you can also use cardboard or shredded paper. Now as mentioned, you can just have a compost pile in your backyard. But turning the compost pile can be a lot of work, so most people don't do it every other day or even the minimum amount of time. So it takes over a year for your compost to break down in earth, especially if you're dealing with cold temperatures. Now what's great about the Jura compost tumbler is that this will happen in a fraction of the time, even in winter, and it will keep it all confined in a space that's rodent free as well as 
free from raccoons and other animals, and odor free. Now normally when composting, it's best to avoid citrus, meats, nuts, bread, and pasta, but the Jura composter is unique in that you can compost all of those things, even cooked foods. And the reason that is is because of the high heats that are obtained because of the insulation that's in there. Now I've never seen another unit that can do that. The only thing you want to avoid is human or pet feces, diseased plants, and glossy paper or magazines. Now as mentioned, all organic material will eventually break down and decompose, but the speed at which that happens depends on six factors. That's the carbon to nitrogen ratio, the surface area exposed, which is why shredded paper will decompose faster than a sheet of paper. Other big items like a core of cabbage will take longer, or any other bigger items is best to chop or cut up, especially whole vegetables or eggshells. And you could just crunch those up with your hand. Or another example that takes a little bit longer to decompose is avocado pits, but you could just take those and put them in for a second round of composting if they're not done yet. Another thing that's really important is aeration or the oxygen that's getting to the compost pile. Also moisture, as you don't want this to be too wet or too dry, the perfect amount is that of a wrung out sponge and you can regulate that by adding dry matter like leaves or more kitchen waste. Another thing that's very important is the temperature of the compost pile as you want it to be warm so the microbes can do their job. And the Jura compost will take care of almost all of those things. But don't overanalyze this. You already know everything you need to to get this started. And any of the problems that occur, you'll be able to fix. Which is another reason I love compostingwarehouse.com is because they have incredible customer service. If you have any problems, all you need to do is take a picture of your compost, send it to them, and they'll tell you how to fix it. Now as far as composting from your apartment or in the city, this unit has actually been approved by the housing authority of many buildings and they put it by the trash so you can get your neighbors involved as well. Other options are to either save your food scraps and bring it to somebody who has a yard or start an indoor or balcony garden. Now there are a list of frequently asked questions at compostingwarehouse.com that you can check out or call them with other questions. Within a couple months, you'll open your composter and have rich, dark compost mulch, perfect to bring health and vitality to your plants. All you have to do at that point is put it on top of the soil and the water will take the nutrients down to the roots below. And doing this will make you more aware of the unnecessary trash we create and the footprint you leave on Earth. And it's far more rewarding than you would expect and it's so good for your health and the environment, so I hope you take action on it. As always, you have my full support with any questions below, and don't forget to check out the blog at theartofunity.com. Good luck with this.